Hi, I'm Lewis Alleman, and I'm here today to review Stephanie Meyer's book, The Host. The Host is Meyer's first venture into the adult mainstream, and with a story that borderlines between sci-fi and literary, she's written a wonderful novel. The Host starts off with narration from the alien parasite host who has been implanted into a human body. Typically, the human's mind slips away into the background, never to be noticed by the new alien host, but sometimes, the human spirit is so strong that it lingers and begins to communicate with the new being inside its body. This is the case with Wanderer, our alien host narrator, and Melanie, the human consciousness, which causes an ongoing internal battle throughout the story, both fighting over the use of the body and Melanie's human memories. It's always wonderful to become immersed in a different environment in a book, where it completely takes you on an adventure outside of your ordinary life. The host does this exceptionally well through its vivid descriptions of underground caves, a harsh desert, and even descriptions of the lives of beings on other planets. It's definitely a great getaway, so much so that it's hard to put the book down. You get the feeling of being right there with the characters in a strange environment, much like in Lord of the Rings, The Chronicles of Narnia, and Edgar Allan Poe's The Pit and the Pendulum. If you're concerned about the quality of this novel because she has primarily written young adult previously, don't be. This is in every way a novel that can be enjoyed by both adult and young adult readers, with an appeal to any fan of sci-fi, the human condition, fantasy, and even literary. Myers' writing is top-notch with colorful descriptions, inner dialogue, and a smooth flowing plot. The characterization is spot-on, making you care about the characters as the danger rises around them. I was not expecting the story to be as deep as it is, as it deals with essentially what it means to be human. In fact, a great deal of the conflict is internal, but in a very interesting way. The themes of selflessness, community, and kindness towards one's enemies are prominent throughout the novel. The story develops into a renegade group of remaining humans struggling to survive against the much farther advanced alien conquerors. The end of the novel is obviously set up to start the next book in the series, and I am certainly looking forward to it. In my humble opinion, I think the book would have had a strong ending for me if it ended one chapter earlier, cutting out the epilogue. But that's a very minor point, especially considering this is a 600 page novel. I'd recommend this book to anyone. This has been the biggest pleasant surprise that I've found this year, and I'm sure that you'll like it too. I hope that you found this review useful.